Laguna Beach sits approximately halfway between Los Angeles and San Diego. As the name suggests, it is known for its amazing beaches. Laguna Beach started as an artist colony and the arts still abound. From working artists to cliffside walks with public art and spectacular views. There are a number of beaches from Main Beach in the heart of the action where you can play volleyball, watch lifeguards train, or just relax with the family to Aliso Beach, also family friendly, but better known for its world-class skimboarders. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center lets you get up close to rescued marine mammals that are being rehabilitated for release. Like to shop? Laguna Beach is the place, with everything from fine art to designer clothes and even the whimsical. Wow, look at this. Adventure abounds here from an exciting dolphin tour to the local tide pools, with volunteers ready to tell you all about them. For the more adventurous still, there are kayak adventures, surfing, diving, and much more. It will come as no surprise that there are great restaurants here, everything from secluded garden cafes to those with million dollar views. Ooh, that looks good. Stop or grab a bite at Laguna Village or stop by Browns Park next door to get your picture taken with a spectacular vista in the background. There's the Laguna Art Museum where you can see paintings from days past or catch a play at the Laguna Playhouse. Wander farther afield in summer by catching a free shuttle at Wellmark stops all over Laguna. You might want to explore one of the area's many wild canyons or take a cooking class at Laguna Culinary Arts. You can even enjoy wine tasting at Laguna's own winery. At the end of the day, enjoy an amazing sunset with mojito in hand at one of the many bars with ocean views. In summer, there are three major art festivals. Art Affair features artists from around the country and abroad. Here too, you will find artists hard at work. There is the Sawdust Art Festival, perfect for the whole family. Jump in and make a ceramic. Practice your own drawing, relax to a live band, or shop among wandering entertainers. Here we are at the Festival of Arts and the Pageant of the Masters. This is what makes Laguna Beach so unique. The Festival of Arts features artists from the Orange County coastal communities and they're all original pieces and it's a juried art show. The Pageant of the Masters is super unique. We're gonna show you more about it because you can't really even describe it. But one thing I am gonna show you in the meantime are the tickets, which I really like. I've been coming here since I was 11 and I have a collection of all these tickets. Each year, it features a different artist. This one's The Stolen Kiss by Jean-Henri Fragonard. And we're gonna go on in. Oh, there's one of your favorites. I hope I'll be saying second. Festival of Arts features a wide variety of arts. Some of my favorites include these glass animals and some seductive underwater photography. We also found this printmaking demonstration fascinating. The pageant of the masters started back in 1932 when locals wanted to attract visitors from LA's 1932 Olympics. I joined event coordinator Charlie Andreasen backstage to see the all-volunteer cast get ready. Now, how many people do you have doing makeup? There's approximately 50 with the different makeup areas. Uh, there's two sides downstairs, two rooms upstairs where our nudes go to, uh -huh. and then one special room where our uh, UQAs go to. Now, are these all volunteers as well? Yes, they oh, are. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Now, look, okay. here's, here's the water, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our faux water. Uh, actually, from the uh, bowl tonight, you will think it is real water. It shows up really nicely. Uh, one thing that we do here at Pageant uh -huh. is everything is carved, well, our statues and are uh, carved out of styrofoam. Oh, wow. I mean, it looks, I was <laughs> yeah. thinking it was... Uh, Plaster of Paris or something like yeah, that, this but that is makes all it nice styrofoam. and light, huh? Yes, because everything, again, has to be moved on and off. And so we use, and, yeah, of mm -hmm. course. I mean, for weight, we use the sense. styrofoam. And the, the fascinating thing, seeing it up close, is it's like, up close, you're kind of like, eh, whatever. But I've seen it so many times, and you look and you go, that's an exact duplicate. How did they do that? It's just so amazing. <laughs> yes. Right here, yeah. so. We took our seats excited to see the pageant. It was, of course, the kiss featured on the tickets, but the Trevi Fountain was truly something to see. 
especially when accompanied by a full orchestra. If you don't know anything about art, not to worry. Longtime narrator of the pageant, Skip Conover, will fill you in with his silky smooth voice. Chivalrous to a fault, he has already given her his horse. Once a night, to the benefit of the unbelieving and those not fortunate enough to get a behind the scenes tour, one of the pieces is put together before the audience's very eyes. Enter and begin to take their positions in the set with the help of the crew. Joan Barreau was one of the most highly regarded artists of the Edwardian era. For his One of the highlights of this pageant was the coming to life of the art of Bianetto Capello, considered the father of the modern poster. With collectors of lithographic art. Romance of wine and spirits in vintage poster art continues with an explosive champagne fantasy. From ship launches to New Year's, anniversaries to pennant clinching victories, this sparkling wine has become synonymous with celebration.